Well, I just recently saw you um, all over the place. You were with Bellator champion Johnny Eblon. How was that? It was fun. It was good. Okay. <laughs> you got spotted. He just spent, what was it, $85,000 on you? $85,000. How do you feel about that? That's a lot of money. Not a lot for him. And right now he's like a, he's currently a champion, 14 and 0. Mm -hmm. um, so he's a champion in the ring, but how about in bed? <laughs> I don't kiss and tell. Okay. Nothing? Mm -hmm. So speaking <laughs> of him being a champion, he has a fight coming up, right? Mm -hmm. How do you think he's going to do? I think he's going to kick And what if he loses? Then I'm out. <laughs> oh, just like that? You're out? Mm -hmm. If he loses? Yeah. Okay, even though he just spent $85,000 on you? Yeah. <laughs> oh he has God. to win. Okay. He has to win. Hey, Johnny. So, how do you feel about the fight coming up? Pretty good, man. Pretty good? You guys doing some shopping today? A little bit. A little bit? How much, how much did you spend on you today? 75000 75 85 Oh, 85 <laughs> Okay. Is, is, is the fight going to be a knockout or what, what can we expect? Absolutely. <laughs> All right, knockout. Johnny. Appreciate you, bro. Good luck, man, on the fight. We should all share a moment of silence for our fallen brother. He's fallen into a sim situation with an obvious 304 and it's unlikely that he will ever come out of it. Something amazing about this story is that this guy is an undefeated MMA champion and yet he's still so pussy whipped that he's willing to spend over 85k on her just because she asked him to. This is a man who literally fights for a living and destroys his body to earn money. He's out there profiting from it. But let me give you the rundown of this bizarre story. According to an article on lowkickmma.com, if Johnny Eblen doesn't get the win on Saturday night, he'll go home without his title and his girl. Days ahead of his highly anticipated return against 2023 PFL light heavyweight tournament winner Impa Kasangane, Eblen was spotted out and about with OnlyFans model Jasenia Rebecca. Eblen reportedly dropped a whopping $85,000 during their afternoon shopping spree, spending $30,000 at Alex the Jeweler, $25,000 at Dior, and another $30,000 at Louis Vuitton. It was an incredible day, and I'm so grateful to Johnny for his kindness, Rebecca said following the experience. As it turns out, Eblen's kindness only goes so far. During a recent interview, Rebecca spoke of her relationship with the Bellator MMA middleweight champion, revealing that if he doesn't get his hand raised at the PFL vs Bellator event in Riyadh on February 24th, their relationship will be as dead as his title reign. Then I'm out, she replied when asked what would happen if Eblen loses. He has to win. Before we go any further with the video, let me share the comment of the day. Shout out to Mr. Incognito who said, Dating a single mother is like going to a party that you was never invited to and doing the cleaning. This couldn't be more true, guys. Listen to this advice and do not date a single mother. The juice is not worth the squeeze. So please, don't forget to reach out to my email to claim your five bucks. As always, guys, I'ma pick one comment from each video. It could be the funniest, it could be the most liked, or just one that really moved me. So don't forget to leave a comment and you could be tomorrow's winner. So be sure to hit that like and sub button because the support helps out the channel a ton. So now let's get right back into the video. Embrace your masculinity. Let me make this perfectly clear. It doesn't matter that this man has spent 85000 on this 304. It doesn't matter that he's a professional athlete in incredible shape. It doesn't matter that he's obviously in a position where he can make serious money. If he loses, she's leaving him. I can't even begin to describe how screwed up this situation is. This situation is a dumpster fire in every way. But this kind of thing is not at all surprising for modern women today. These women are the most materialistic, gold-digging women human civilization has ever seen. This woman has absolutely no loyalty to this man. This is the kind of woman who will try to hook up with his opponent in the dressing room if he loses. 
How is it possible that women can be so confused that men refuse to date them when these are the kinds of women that society is churning out like a factory assembly line? Her comments sparked backlash online. People have been expressing how screwed up they think her comments are. Who can blame them? But take a look at her response. Since when was being honest wrong? Do you think if I stopped being attractive or gained a bunch of weight, he would be with me? No, she wrote. He likes me because I'm attractive and I like him because he's a champion. Either one of us can get dumped if we lose the thing that the other found attractive. Let's start being honest in 2024. This woman thinks that just because she's being honest that automatically absolves her of being a terrible person. The kind of mental gymnastics that modern women will do to avoid accountability and responsibility is almost unmatched. Modern women will find excuses for practically any terrible behavior you can find. Once again, OnlyFans models are showing us what kind of quality women are out there. Modern women are generally furious at men for walking away from them and leaving them to suffer the consequences of their decisions. And for some reason, they can't understand why men are walking away. In their minds, modern women are perfect angelic creatures who bring so much value to the table that men should be queuing up to spend thousands of dollars on them a day. But the reality is that the quality of women has been declining for the past 20 years. And to see this obvious 304 with giant inflatable hips waddling down the street just proves it. These are the kinds of women that feminism tries to shame men into dating. As soon as men begin to have boundaries and standards and preferences, automatically you are labeled as insecure and told to man up. It's the same thing that happens when a man decides he doesn't want to date a single mother. Feminism and modern women will attack your masculinity and claim that the reason you don't do exactly as they tell you is because you're insecure. This is manipulation and gaslighting of the highest caliber, and men should simply not be tolerating it. Which is exactly why I'm completely shocked at this fighter who decides to invite this woman into his life. I can only assume he's a little drunk from the fame and fortune that his career has awarded him, and it's causing him to make some terrible choices. This dumpy woman isn't even a 10, she's a solid 6 at best. So I can't understand why this man keeps her around, especially after she has openly stated that she will leave him as soon as he loses. MMA is one of the toughest sports on the planet and very few athletes make it through their first 10 fights without a loss. But obviously, this woman doesn't care about that, as long as he keeps paying. But aside from the edge cases like this one, the truth is, men don't date OnlyFans models seriously and they never will. I highly doubt this fighter sees this woman as the potential mother of his children. Host of Hot Ones, Sean Evans, is receiving a little bit of heat on the internet and it all revolves around a relationship that he had with a woman by the name of Melissa Stratton. Now, Sean Evans, it seems, has been dating Melissa Stratton for quite some time, but it was kept under wraps. They were very secretive about their love life. And the reason might be that Melissa Stratton happens to be a porn star. Now, as you can imagine, this now tumultuous relationship ended quickly. And when I say quickly, I mean within 24 hours of the news becoming public, Sean broke up with Melissa on Valentine's Day. Now, I have no doubt that these women will go on to find men who are willing to court them and date them. I'm just worried about the kind of quality of that man. But we've seen time and time again, and this story is no exception, that men, while they may be willing to date an OnlyFans model or a porn star for fun and for a little bit of promiscuity, maybe that dating doesn't last once it becomes public and once they realize that maybe the values of that woman's occupation don't align with their own. Would you date a girl that has an OnlyFans? No, I wouldn't. Probably not. For the money, that would be interesting. An OnlyFans model is good for one thing, a pump and dump situation. That's it. Men simply will not consider an OnlyFans model or any other form of sex worker to be the mother of our children. So would you date a girl that has an OnlyFans? Why or why not? Date exclusively? Yes, like that's your girlfriend, you guys are loyal to each other, like she just does OnlyFans as a living. But she's not cheating on you or nothing, she's just, she's not doing shit with guys, she's just posting like herself. And maybe with you if you want. Is she naked? Yes. But they have to pay like big bucks. <laughs> no, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not like an insecure type of dude, but I wouldn't be comfortable with that. I couldn't. Really? Even if you really liked her and she was like great, 10 out of 10, everything was amazing? If I know ahead of time and I still do that, then that was my decision. But if it's like I find out later on, no, I can't. I can't do that. These kinds of women bring an absolute shitstorm of emotional baggage and drama to the table without bringing much value. Maybe they would be good in bed, but the truth is, you are likely going to be sharing her with other men eventually. That's because these kinds of women are not loyal. 
Feminism has convinced these women that they should be focusing on their career and getting that bag at all costs. Feminism, however, has not told them what it means to be a good person. This is why feminism is at its root a toxic ideology that ruins women. When men stand up and start to say no, the sisterhood alarm is triggered and they rush out in defense of the hive mind. Take a look at this article from an outspoken feminist attacking men for not wanting to date OnlyFans models. Look at the kind of terrible reasoning she uses. The truth is, modern women hate men having boundaries because they can't control them anymore. Would you date a girl who has an OnlyFans? This has come up recently and a lot of dudes are still misogynists about it. N-I-M-B-Y, or not in my backyard. This is the acronym that comes to mind when the question of would you date a girl who has an OnlyFans comes up. Over the last month, I met a woman who supports herself rather well producing adult content, and she's not trying to hide it. She's not ashamed. And while a lot of dudes out there claim to be feminist and open-minded, I've learned they still have the nimby attitude towards sex work, even if the content is solo masturbation content and no other men are involved. Scratch beneath a feminist surfaced and a vomit load of sexism remains, the same kinds of things I've heard white dudes say about dating a woman of color. Men say, it's okay if a woman makes porn, I just wouldn't want her as my girlfriend. And even a hint of jealousy? Okay, I'm, I gotta step in here. I have no idea how this woman can accuse men of being jealous just because they don't want a girlfriend who makes porn. One thing I find quite hypocritical about these liberal women is that they claim to be these hyper-compassionate people with this live and let live mentality. But as soon as you express a desire that they don't agree with, suddenly the cat claws are out and she's calling you a jealous, insecure misogynist with a fragile male ego. But anyway, let's read on. Men say, I wish I could just take a few photos naked and pay all my bills. There's a sense that somehow, sex work is super easy work. As though sex workers don't need to maintain their bodies, their health, and have a lot of video editing and making skills. There's also social media savvy that's involved. A lot of them do a whole lot more than just exist naked. I mean, I exist naked all the time, and the money doesn't appear. The fact that this woman can honestly and unironically attempt to make the argument that sex work is just as difficult as any other job is simply ridiculous. Notice how she tries to make it seem way harder than it actually is by adding video editing in there? There's an idea that somehow, working a more traditional job is more noble, more respectable, that sex work is cheating. And also, that women don't deserve easy money. Women don't deserve to figure out a way to use their assets to make a decent income, but what they want, and go on trips. Women don't deserve to work or live without a boss slash pimp slash abuser. No man is making the argument that sex work is cheating. This isn't a school playground. But people absolutely make the argument that sex work is not as noble as working a job that actually benefits society. Because it's true. If all OnlyFans creators disappeared tomorrow, nothing would change. Men can do that. We hear them bragging about dropshipping, day trading, being their own boss, and four-day work weeking it all the f in time, until we vomit from their advice. Women shouldn't do that, for some reason. It's morally wrong when a woman figures out a way to work on her own terms and make a good living. Those are bad ways to make money. The only good ways to work in a system that is inherently stacked against her. To have a pimp, to be abused, to work for nothing. Can you see the level of self-victimization that emanates from everything she says? What kind of men are expecting women to have a pimp and be abused and work for nothing? This woman exaggerates the opposite argument to make it seem ridiculous because it's the only way she can have a point. Women shouldn't be money savvy. Remember when all those spiteful dudes threatened to report women with OnlyFans accounts to the IRS as though they were too stupid to do their own taxes or like pay TurboTax to do it for them? You mad bro? Men, old and young, can't seem to get over it. They can't seem to stop being bitter about it and, and hiding behind morality. It's possible to be a woman and make a lot of money and not slave away for someone else, not expose oneself to drugs and disease doing sex work, and to use the tools of the internet without permission or advice from men. But NIMBY, not my girlfriend. Well, you can punish her by not dating her, my friend, but I think she'll be having too much fun on the beach, in her private villa in Europe, in her own house and car, to even notice, let alone care. That's going to be extremely difficult to do with the average monthly income of an OnlyFans creator, which is 180 bucks, by the way. That's right, 
women are essentially ruining their lives for 180 bucks a month. And this woman seems to think they will be staying in private villas in Europe. The delusion is real. And if only it was true that women didn't care when men left them. But what we're seeing is an absolute social media dumpster fire of OnlyFans creators regretting their decisions and single mothers who regret getting ran through by endless Chads and Tyrones in her 20s. Men have walked away from women in massive numbers and these women are starting to regret the consequences of their decisions. Becoming an OnlyFans creator and being a shameless gold digger are just some of the ways you will completely ruin your value to the men in your life as a woman. This is why men are grabbing their passports and flying to countries that still have some semblance of traditional healthy values left. Because we're definitely not going to meet the mother of our children on OnlyFans. As always, I wish you tremendous success. Now it's your turn. What do you think? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Remember that if you leave the best comment, you'll get 5 bucks. Thank you so much for watching. If you found value in this video, Hit the like and subscribe buttons, ring the notification bell so you don't miss out on future uploads, drop a comment, and share it. See you in the next video. Till next time.